he, I don't know, man. I can't cover it up for him. I, I, I hate, I can't. Like, no matter what, like, you gay gay, you kissing a man. You ain't even just backshot, it's me. You ain't even just backshot, it's me. You kiss the man, you kiss the man. Welcome to Draw Time TV, the realest channel on YouTube. Here at Draw Time, our team brings you gritty street stories that hit hard and cut deep. From the struggles of the hood to the triumphs of the streets, Draw Time TV gives you an unfiltered look at life on the grind. With raw footage and real talk, our channel is a voice for the voiceless and a platform for the streets. So hit that subscribe button and join the Draw Time TV movement. The streets are talking, and we're listening. What's up, what it do, Drill Time TV checking in once again. Now the fans kind of confused after that statement your boy Yellow made on Cam Capone. He said your boy Lil J ain't just diving in from the back and getting a little throw to action. He kissed the man and sat on his lap. So he ain't gay, he gay gay. Or some shit like that. I thought it was one and the same. Cause at the end of the day, that's running under the rainbow. Rainbow bright. Cause you said it like, if we just did that, it'd be all right. And somebody tell me, why is Lil J staring at the back of the Akka Chirac? Make it make sense. It do hit different. When one of the victims come out and say Lil J was mashing Tato since he was in the eighth grade. Come to think of it, I don't even know why Yellow was so surprised. He already told Say Cheese that Lil J turned into Freaky Jeffrey off the flats. And if he break eye contact with you and you turn your head, he go fresh kiss you. Same thing he said, we done f hold. Nigga, I done woke up, nigga. We done clap. I done woke up, nigga. He f the bitch. I was just in the bed. This is shit that we did. I mean, around, from around me, because they know if they choose up, I'm going to do what I do. Because he a f anything. That's why you got conversations about him f men. He, he has a... Let me tell you about Lil J. So since we're going to do this and he want to do all that, Lil J, bro, his sex drive is up here. His tolerance. He wants to f Like, I'll be cool. I'll blow one time. I'm straight. I'll, man, listen, I'll be cool. I'm straight. You feel me? But I know how he, I know how he was on the street. I know how he was off drugs. That nigga done got off the pills and then tried to kiss a nigga before. Like, come on now, for real. We gonna keep this shit, he know. Oh, what the f Like, this nigga is you, nigga. While Lil J saying that's his story and he's sticking to it. One of his ex jailhouse play toys said as long as he comfortable with himself, he possibly could make something happen. He said he was there when Lil J wrote a little bit. And it might just be one more market out there that he's forgetting about. But I feel like, yes. Yes and maybe no, cause he, I'm like, I'm not no hater. You know, I was there when he wrote some shit and was writing and, you know, so I'm like, oh, okay, I see you. Okay. Like, when, if you're doing what you said you're doing and you're actually, people fuck with the authentic, the authentic, uh, like the real genuine, like if you pour your shit out and you actually got that flow, motherfuckers will come. Yeah, no, no cap. If you're a real um, artist or if you're a real supporter, you and you really like what somebody creating, you would do like you wouldn't pass judgment on them. No cap. If you're genuine, but you know, and that's if you're comfortable as well. That's also if you're comfortable. Like if you like it, you like it. But if somebody else take me, feel like put something on you because of their you know insecurities or whatever and then you go for it then it's like now you're being fake for it you're not you're being, you're being fake to yourself I don't know, with the right PR team, he probably could have shook back from the gay allegations. And it sound like he's trying to milk it for what it's worth. He says, y'all started GoFundMe and come up with 300K, and he go drop that lie detector test on live. If not, y'all can believe what y'all want to believe, because a bag go fine, one way or the other. I mean, a lot of goofy-ass stuff, coming from this motherfucker, man. I like the, uh, I already love all that shit, man. Y'all keep me relevant, keep me trending. Y'all wanna know so bad about King Lil J, I'm broke. See, I'm gonna start a GoFundMe, man. 
to raise up 300k. We raise that 300k amount, bro. I'm gonna go live on on camera with a professional and do a lot of just tests about any rumors, any of that shit. Other than that, y'all can do nothing to the fuck up, bro. Cause I'm gonna be rich regardless. I'm gonna be clout love regardless. All uh, y'all hating on my downfall and praying on my downfall, praying for me. I'm gonna fall off with y'all. know I'm I'm king. I'm bro. Like y'all know this shit. So for y'all, for the fans, for the haters, for all the fake love and the back door, this, this is gonna be for y'all, man. This only gonna be one time, one time only. If y'all don't raise the bread, then y'all keep on speculating or putting fake videos. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't stop. Y'all gonna keep going. Y'all gonna keep going. Then other than that, I'm bro, we gonna raise this money up. Keep liking all my shit. Keep me going. Keep me relevant. Damn, we done caught you in 4K on the Geechee farm. Bloodbath was right. Now I'm recalling everything he said. He said, check them tickets, man, because he might got that damn thing. He told the guards one of them boys spit on him in PC and had it. Had what? That yeah, monkey. But for some reason, he ain't go tell y'all that. So, he, he mentioned something about a, a HIV or a disease. <laughs> he too crazy, yo, too good. I, I heard I was gay, I was told now. I got HIV. Yeah, man. Got AIDS. Trying to spit on me. Where we got room at? Though. Going on up here with the situation. Man, he spit on me. He spit on me on the patio, acting crazy. Cause his, his motherfucking punk girlfriend talking crazy through the door. So he get to talk crazy, spitting on my phone. So he damn, what well, the fuck? What else? What the fuck gonna say next? What he gonna say next? <laughs> That's cold right there. You gotta have some cold proof for that. What the fuck? Some HIV. Come on now, man. You gotta try harder than that, man. I don't know, that might be enough evidence to seal the deal. From you saying out your mouth that somebody spit on you with AIDS. The blood valve saying it's real live tickets floating around. That make you say, hmm. It seemed like homie coming from a genuine place and was really trying to warn the ladies of Lil J double life. But let me know what y'all think about the whole situation. Is it possible that we all been seeing things wrong or had something in our eye at the same time? Cause this man saying he being framed and the ops just out to ruin his reputation. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. And don't forget to like this video, share it to your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more drill time updates. I'ma let Bloodbath take it from Shout here. Shout out DJ UTV. Clear this up right quick. I don't got nothing bad to say about Lil J or nothing like that. I don't got nothing against him. But if he out there acting like he wasn't in here fucking with transsexuals and protected custody and shit like that, then that's bogus. I want all the ladies to, like, I want all the ladies to watch themselves because there's a lot of females who be fucking around, you know? See, mm -hmm. bro, and them turned up. They want to have good times and have fun and shit like that. Watch out for Lil J, man, because he had papers floating around her. He was fucking with a transsexual named Brandon Arnold. Mm. He was fucking with a transsexual named Brandon Arnold and a Dario, a Dario Smith. And if you Google them names, they'll pop up or whatever. And I can get the ticket numbers and shit like that. So we can ask him to get those tickets and read what they say, sexual misconduct and shit like that. So, papers is going around that he got HIV gang. And I ain't lying, none of that shit. I'm trying to look out for my people out there. Because that shit be spread it and then it can get back to my family. I got sisters, all type of shit. Mm -hmm. I got brothers. I don't want that shit to spread back to them. You know what I'm saying? 